So let me tell you exactly uh, what we envision out of this partnership, what we bring, and then what I'm hearing about what you bring. One, first of all, is, is the, the community college is a, an asset that is um, tremendous. And today we'll talk about how we talk about those assets and, and deconstruct it in a way to figure out how we re reconstruct it for, for a collaborative uh, agenda. But the, the campus itself and the campus sustainability and how we, in fact, uh, reduce the carbon footprint, not only of your campus, but these are such large facilities that it will have a great impact on the carbon reduction in the city and the region as a whole. So uh, we hope to bring to that effort uh, you know, financial, public-private, creative financing, as you suggest, to help uh, colleges accelerate, scale this up, and get it done quicker. And so uh, tomorrow, as part of our agenda, we will have a, a private investors forum to really, uh, which will bring you know over two dozen investors to come and begin to look at the numbers and to begin to uh, figure out how we get deals done uh, on the campus sustainability side. We have uh, on our board a number of outstanding academic institutions and scholars in the space. To uh, Joel Rogers being one, and uh, we have partnerships with MIT that can bring additional knowledge about how to um, support broader campus sustainability plans. And so beyond the retrofit work, what else do you need to do, whether it's uh, in, in obviously the renewable space or water or urban ag or what have you. So we want to bring uh, those, leverage your student capacities and research capacities with the capacities from around the country because we are a national organization. So campus sustainability is uh, a core piece of what we want to contribute to our community colleges here and in other places. On the education and training side, um, there, obviously there's a lot of resources, leadership and faculty, um, curricula that you, that you bring, and we want to just figure out how we create a learning community across campuses, um, across the country, to make certain that we're building a comprehensive uh, curriculum and multiple pathways so that we're training the future generation to, to push sustainability forward. If there's going to be a different kind of cleaner energy environment, a, a sustainable economy, so because people here in this room and elsewhere are being trained to do it. They're doing it at the policy level, they're doing it because they're you know, struggling working on environmental justice and organizing issues, they're doing it because they're learning the new construction skills, they're doing it because they're the architects and engineers, and so it, they're doing it because they're in the business sector and marketing this. There is multiple pathways to this future, and it's the curriculum, uh, the curriculum work of this campus that we want to help grow and support. And we have a partnership with U.S. Green Building Council, and they'll talk about that later, about the resources they'll bring to this collaborative. Uh, obviously, American Association of Community Colleges. So we're building national resources to strengthen and enhance faculty and staff. Um, the, the most interesting stuff, I think, in fact, we'll, so we'll talk about a lot of that in the two morning panels. I'm going to be most excited to talk about the non-traditional work of community colleges and how we, so there's things that you will bring to our collective thing, but there's some things that we would like to bring to your table. So the afternoon, we'll really talk about the role of community colleges in business development, startup businesses, green tech um, operations, and building business incubators as a driver for um, growing the economy. As uh, our New Hampshire partner will have actually a su substantial experience in this space, uh, I know coming from community college that a lot of our students come out of career technical education and they're learning to be cosmetologists and auto mechanics and culinary artists not to work for someone, but to actually start their own businesses. And so how do we enhance uh, the technical knowledge and skills that they're getting with the business development, procurement opportunity, access to capital. So we really want to figure out how community colleges can really accelerate the small business startup and existing business development. So we'll have a, a conversation with our business community um, uh, in the third session this afternoon. The last, and I, I love this one most of all, is the conversation we're going to have about civic engagement and how to ensure that the work, the thinking, uh, the benefits of this is broadly distributed to those that are not on this campus, that are not in this community. Um, I think we have a lot more work to do to bring low-income communities of color 
into the conversation about sustainability. And I have to tell you, uh, it, it may be a hard conversation. We have uh, Dr. Brian Murphy from Dianza who will be here today. I think he's just an organizer at heart who's going to really talk about, well, you know, when you talk about sustainability to communities of color, and the family's saying they get a chance to own that big house and those multiple cars, and now you're saying you can't have it. <laughs> now you're saying that, oh, no, no, you got to be sustainable. Oh, no, no, you got to conserve. So what, what is the equity? What is the justice issue? How do we have those conversations? And so, and what is the role of community colleges in that kind of uh, civic and community engagement? What's the role of our students in uh, developing a, a larger movement around sustainability? So that's going to be our fourth panel. And I, so I'm hopeful that uh, we have over close to 200 people registered today. And so I, I know the conversation is going to get richer and richer throughout the day.